You know those pictures from the Webb telescope that we just got where you, if you hold up a piece of sand in your, on your fingertips and held it all the way out, that tiny little speck, within that tiny little speck, there are thousands of galaxies. And within each galaxy, there's billions of stars that hopefully should serve to remind us that we're all on the same team. And that's a mantra you can carry around in your life in the following situations. If you see someone struggling a little bit, maybe you're at a party and you're in a circle and people are doing party things and someone can't figure out how to do that party thing because maybe they don't have experience doing that party thing and they feel a little embarrassed, it's okay. We're all on the same team. Or maybe someone in your group and your bike trip fell off their bike. Or maybe someone's body just made a weird noise. Reminding someone that we're all on the same team is an embarrassment cure, and it's like the kindest thing that you can tell someone in that moment. We're all having a good time. We all want to get there safe. We all make weird noises. We're all on the same team. The party team, the bike to ice cream team, the couple of humans trying to enjoy themselves team, all on the same team. And when you have kids, this is everything getting in the car, getting dressed. We're all trying to get out of the house together. Staying hydrated, having a healthy breakfast, cleaning up. It's not making you do these things. It's because we're all on the same team and everyone benefits if we get this stuff done now. It's not about telling you what to do. It's about getting to where we're going together, most happily, most safely. If you're not sunscreened, everyone suffers. And true, when you start to work in groups for projects, what about the group project bar raiser. Okay, so you want to be available at three in the morning? I guess that might help your career prospects, but that's not helping us as a group. It's making other individuals look worse. It's not holding a boundary. We're not going to be able to finish the project at this rate. Come on, bar raiser. We're all on the same team. And this is a little bit of prisoner's dilemma. We're all better off if we agree to cooperate. Our living space is clean if we agree to clean up after ourselves right away. Our planet can stop the burning if we agree to reduce our carbon footprint just a little. And what happens when we encounter people from the other team? Team Ninja Blender, Team Cole, Team Sender that drives the philosophical train and switches and chooses every time between children dying and money and power chooses to run over the children and keep the money and power alive. Team Zero Sum Game where your gain is their loss and your loss is their gain. Why not just, how do you deal with these people? There's no way they're joining your team. But wait, aren't we all on the same team? Aren't we all just a, a speck of dust floating in the universe trying to make sense of it all? Aren't we just a, a bag of bones that's controlled by a machine that's capable of complex thoughts, that's powered by plants and water and sun, all burdened by hopes and fears and regrets and that voice in our head? For the people that need to hear it, for when they're embarrassed, it's all good, we're all on the same team. For the people passionate about their team, Team Keto, Team, team Android, Team I don't necessarily think your way is the best, but that's okay, because we're all on the same team. For yourself, when you're drifting, or feeling crabby, or languishing from the repetition, feeling met, and you forget for that moment how lucky we are to be here right now, in this moment, in this tiny little speck of time, the reminder that we're all on the same team. See you next week.